Hello, I'm John Gabriel, and I'm filming the cliff, Richmond, Virginia, Bells Isle, and I'm filming the arrow point that is two tons sitting on a rock. Uh, and I'm filming, there's the tail of the Pegasus, there's her thigh, there's her head, here's the Pegasus. I've gone to uh, City Richmond and asked them for help on this and to have this protected as a sculpture because this is a sculpture, these are both sculptures and this is the reason why. Here's the calf, the baby pony head, and here's what Kevin and Erica now they didn't know this was a sculpture and they're in love now if Kevin breaks up with Erica Erica might get a hammer and she might hammer out that heart and for sure hammer out Kevin might leave her name up there but anyway this is the precious art sculpture from 20,000 years ago possibly we have um, the arrow point here with three uh, three circles like um, this was put there to, to either let people know the tribe. Uh, here is the rock that's holding this two-ton sculpture up. There's a rock here, a rock there. Here's the other rock. There's three rocks holding this two-ton sculpture up. And here you can see where it's concave in the middle. Now, uh, I am going to clean this off. And uh, I got me some spray paint graffiti. And I am going to uh, try to get this off. So... If it's not here, and I apologize to Kevin and Erica, but this is possibly a 25, 20,000 year old art sculpture, and I'm going to try to remove it. Uh, let's see, it says it, it re will remove, and let's see, oh, maybe it's working. Oh, I love it. And here goes Erica. Erica, I apologize, but honey, this is a I know you and Eric are going to do real well, even without carving. Now, this is what I asked the city of Richmond. Could you please help me? Help me preserve. Here I am doing a selfie, cleaning one of our 20,000-year-old. Here's the back of the arrow point. There's the arrow point, and I need a little more spray. So I'm going to spray this again. Maybe this could even be a little commercial. I'm not sure, but I know one thing is that I need help. Uh, if you could donate to us to begin a uh, to pay for the legal expenses for a nonprofit, and uh, we are asking you to, if you would, if you could donate. Uh, through our site and uh, believe me I don't have time barely to show these things anymore but I'm trying to do my best to preserve these I discovered them I discovered our country's first lost civilization and uh, also I want to apologize these teenagers did not know this is a sculpture and uh, I am doing my best to make sure that they just think that maybe the rain uh, did this and that I didn't have to come up and work on this, but I am doing my best. Let's go one more time. Right above the, right above the, 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 the head of the calf. That's, uh, that's what's interesting is that I am spraying and I'm working and we have 100 ton sculptures if you go to rivercitysemonsters.com I'd appreciate 
Woo! Goodness. Man, I tell you what. Okay. And this is a... <coughs> yeah. Let me tell you, it's doing the job, folks. It's doing the job on this. And uh, we need to preserve this so we can have thousands and thousands of tourists from all over the world come. This will increase the revenues for the fire department, for the police, and believe me, the police and the fire departments in the city of Richmond Let's get their salaries 80 to 180,000. Let's let's give them those salaries because with 100 ton sculptures of sea mammals from 20,000 years ago, we're going to have so many hundreds of millions of dollars coming into the city of Richmond. And there, I think I did it, folks. I think I wish I had some water. I might have to go get some water. But anyway, um I think I did it. I think I did it. Hope they don't come back here and do it again. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll break up. But one thing for sure, right here, this is the baby calf. And it's very fragile. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you all have a chance to come down from everywhere, especially you Europeans. Now this is your art. I just discovered it. Here's that arrow point there's the climbing wall here's the arrow point there she is look at the very top of that arrow point it's concave in the middle here's the rocket sitting on and yeah I think I did a pretty good job on that there's Pegasus's hummingbird wing there's her their head to the left facing to the left there's her wing, her two fat feet, her thigh. There's the baby pony head, and you can't see Erica loves. Who was it? I forgot now. Good. It's not up there anymore. A little bit of black uh, magic marker. But here's the arrow point, and it's. Uh, you could see to the right now. The clouds are out. You could see the little shaving areas to the right. Those little shaving marks. Uh, and let's see if you can see the owl's head. Ah, uh, can't see the owl's head very well from here, but yes, you can. A little gray area to your right, and then to the left of that, you'll see a square little owl's head, and to the left is the wing. You see the little rock here, and that's rocks about as big as a baseball glove. And then to the, right above that, that's the uh, owl. And if you see the little square head just to the left of the gray area, that was artwork. European artwork, Dr. Dennis Stanford says that Ice Age Europeans could have made it here. I'm doing my best to preserve this myself. I'm showing it. I discovered it. And I need all the help I can get. So by chance, if you can donate to art, art history, America's first lost civilization, uh, this is it. We welcome you to come to Richmond if you use our uh, hotels from our site and uh, uh, use our site for, for your plane fare. We're going to try to give you the best discounts we can uh, and keeping a small portion to help preserve and help begin a nonprofit for our country's first lost civilization uh, here on the James River in Richmond, Virginia. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, area and there's three rocks. Now here's the rock that the, the arrow point is sitting on and I'm going to show you the other rock. Here's the third, well, let's see, here's the other rock at the, underneath, and it's three rocks. There's the other one, and here it is. Here's, if you look up, uh, hold on, folks, it's kind of on a cliff here. This right here, from here to here, it's, there's a symmetry that is the same size as it is and then it's concave in the middle and it's a beautiful beautiful uh, arrow point uh, I did not carve this let's see if I do it this way if that's any better yeah there it is uh, let's see if I could get back a little further there's a climbing wall those shaving marks you see that point up there 
the point and the symmetry from the left side the right side has a straight line mark that you can see right there and then to the left that in the clip this arrow point is on top of this rock right here and then inside the cliff there's a straight line mining mark that's easy to see there it is that's how you find it find the arrow point first come to the straight line mark then you'll look for the horse's head to the left here's your horse's head facing uh, to the left you can see her nostrils and her teeth are kind of flared out below that you'll see some scrapings to the left all those are going in the same direction above her head you can barely see it this is pretty old that's her wing on the top that's her wing below and here's her thigh uh, the baby pony right there it's in the center the little calf head then right here you have a big tail feather to probably handle the stronger winds and a hummingbird wing so she could be quick and fast if she had 50 of those you'd have to know that this horse was pretty quick and this would be 20,000 25,000 years before the Greeks uh, were born and before the Greeks said that uh, Pegasus was a only a constellation again here's her two fat feet when you come down here it looks kind of green then here's her her thigh right there the distance between the two feet and the hoof you could see the hoof there you could see the way the thigh comes up and a marsupial pouch who would carve a marsupial pouch a baby calf and a flying horse pegasus 20,000 years ago unless you saw one I just took off the graffiti folks and I need your help this is one of the most wonderful wonderful discoveries that's ever been made in our country right here in the city I love Richmond Virginia the people are pretty cool the police are cool and we want you to come down to see this uh, and also this is for your children your grandchildren and let's see if we can keep studying Dr. Dennis Stanford and see if we can continue to preserve these art sculptures another 20,000 years. Thank you very much. I'm going to head back to the top of the hill and pass out some of my little pieces of paper that say River City Sea Monsters because I'm down to almost a piece of paper now to be able to afford my time to do this. It's really getting difficult, but they're here. You're going to love this area, and thank you very much for watching this and watching me take off the graffiti.